Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? Hello, and welcome to Your Beer Sucks. I'm John, that's Andrew, that's... Miguel Sanchez, hey. And, uh, we're gonna be drinking Wits today. Wits. 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 Wit beers. Alright, so I guess we should get started on the first beer, shouldn't we? Uh, mm -hmm. you know, maybe not a bad idea. Think so? Beer number one. Beer number one? The large. Is Hogfish Dead Namaste? Hogfish Dead? Hogfish Dead. What happened to it? Rip. I don't fucking know. So sad. On a quest to be really pretentious. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> On a quest to brew. Oh, sorry. I, I thought that's what it said, but it was up here. Yeah, it happens. Uh, mm. <laughs> On a quest to brew a wit beer chock full of flavor. Namaste. White. Digs deep <laughs> into our culinary roots using ingredients of dried organic orange slices, fresh cut lemongrass, peppercorns. And coriander. And a bit of coriander. There we go. For a refreshing and sessionable experience. Hogfish dead. Namaste. Well, I like the sound of that. Mm. And dogfish head almost always comes through. That's true. Almost always, yes. Well, I That's think true. we've had one beer by them that we gave a sucks. The, yeah, it was the Blood Orange IPA. That yeah, be and that's just because we have not yet had a Blood Orange beer that worked. Yeah. And that's as... All of us like blood orange. Oh, does it smell oh, good? Oh god, it smells like pee. Really? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It, it's does it one of the good? most interesting wheat beers I've ever snorted. Ooh, interesting. Okay, that's the most interesting nose I've ever nosed on a wheat beer. I think. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, it's unmistakable. You go, oh, that's a wit. Yet. But there's like some other stuff going on there. That's a wit, and somebody's making somebody's making cinnamon rolls in With the room. Yeah, banana lemongrass cinnamon rolls. Yeah, because yeah, oh, I get the... Oh, shit. I gotta write that down. Let me get my phone out. <laughs> <laughs> gotta stop I definitely by the grocery the store on the way home. Is for sure. Oh, banana yeah, lemongrass wheat cinnamon rolls. Typical of the style. And nice. the banana is strong. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wonder if mosquitoes like this beer. I bet. Mmm. Mmm. The flavor is not as... Jumping as the nose, but it's really pleasant. That's yeah, this is definitely a very, very refreshing sort of beer. I get more banana than anything else on the palate. Yeah, it's also not nearly as sweet as it smells like it's going to be. Well, it's it's really sweet for about 4.2 femtoseconds <laughs> and then it gets dry. Mm -hmm. That's my experience. I don't really get the sweetness right off the bat that you're talking about, but. Could be picoseconds. Could be. Could be. Let me hold on. Let me. Yeah. I mean, that is an order of magnitude difference there. Mm -hmm. It's very, very light bodied. I think that's. Not nearly as cloudy as you would whatever. expect either. I, I think Femto is. I think it's Pico Femto. Yeah, it is Pico Femto. Mm -hmm. Nano Pico Femto? Yes. Yep. <laughs> We're some real nerdy beer guys. Yep. I like this. The Strong Force operates on a range of one femtometer. Mm -hmm. It's pretty or a little cool. bit less. But there you go. That's a like smaller than a nucleus of a uh, of an atom. Oh yeah, I guess that would be. I mean, I guess it depends on the atom, right? I mean, that's it's holding together like a uh, corks to make a proton. Uh -huh. What about the, like nucleus of uranium? I'd imagine it's a little bit bigger than hydrogens. Well, no, I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like that's that's way bigger. Mm. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Strong interaction holds all that together. Too. What's what's the whatever? What's the uranium that's found in large concentrations naturally? Two thirty five, and then two thirty eight is the one that they yeah. Two thirty eight is the processed one. Yes, mm -hmm. I think I, I think it's two thirty five. I think there is some naturally occurring two thirty eight, but it's like a Hardest. decimal of a percent. Yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. 
We got on a tangent based on Femto. But you know what? Nice. But this beer, this beer is... Uh, it's very refreshing. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a summer beer. Like, this beer will have you and talking it's starting about. To get, it's starting to get hot outside. It's starting know, to? I don't know if you've done It's, it's gone it's, full fuck. It's quite fucking fiery out there. It's bad. I just hope the Doom guy wins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's horrifying here in Alabama right now. And it's only June, and it's like... I keep expecting, every time I smell it, my brain sort of resets, and I expect it to be as complex on the palate as on the nose. And It's, it's got not. a very simple palate. Yeah. Simple palate, great nose, but still, I'd say this is a this is a good beer. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah. not earth-shattering, the, but The good. finish is also real simple. It just kind of goes weedy and a little bit slightly bitter. Yeah. Lose all that lemongrass. Yeah. But then it's all back again when you smell it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird beer, but I dare say I like it. Oh, yeah. And when I say weird, I don't mean there's anything unconventional. Unconventional. <laughs> unconventional about the flavors or anything. It's the way it presents itself is weird. Yeah. If this were a dish, it would have a strange presentation. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Where's my mom? Quiet. Mm. Mm. I like it though, so it does not suck. Yeah, dogfish mm-hmm. head, namaste. It doesn't suck. White. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't suck. The name sucks, but the beer is good. Yeah. One of the better wits I've had. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Beer. Number D. Hot shots part D. D. Catawba white zombie. Mm. Oh, yeah. I had a white zombie tape stuck in my tape player in a 1986 caravan I had nice. once upon a time. Listen what was the name of that album? The one that came out in like 96. Wasn't that Astro more Creep? human than human on it? Was it Astro Creep? That was Astro Creep, Creep 2000. Listen to shit out of that yep. right in high school. Mm-hmm. That fucking thing was stuck in that tape player. All right. So, we named this beer as a Halloween seasonal brew, but its refreshing taste makes it a year-round staple. Zombie is made according to the Belgian wit beer tradition of using unmalted wheat to create the light body and white sheen. Ooh, I like that. Additions of coriander like and orange it. peel... Two thumbs up. Give zombie a fruity and spicy character while the hops are subtle and lightly detected. Mm. Don't be scared to blow the head off a zombie and drink up. Oh. Blow like the head off. They think they're close. Oh my god, I just saw a spoiler. Oh. Yeah, you did. So You did t- see a spoiler. T- keep, keep. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. Calm down, white boy. Mm. Keep your thoughts on the here and now, Obi Wan. Fucking, <laughs> fucking Melvin. Nobody likes Star Wars anymore. That's all right. <laughs> More for me. That's right. There you go. This has uh, some, some unpleasant funk too. This it. one does have some funk. Wow. Some eggy funk and eggy some... latrini funk. Yeah. We haven't had really anything by them we didn't like. Yeah. But this might be a first. Could be. Well, I'm, well, the nose might be bad, but the beer might be good. Yeah. But that nose is not appetizing. Uh, that tastes like the way cat piss smells. Ugh. Sucks. Wow. Damn, this is bad. This is, like, really not good. Get it out of here. It's sickeningly sweet, too. At least it is to me. Wow. God. Yeah, no, that's just really bad. I'm disappointed. We're not angry. We're just, we're, disapp- we're just disappointed. Catalba, we've come to expect more from you. This was just... Beer, 
Number three. All right, are you ready for this shit? Are you ready? St. Bernardus, bitches. St. Bernardus Wit. Or Vit. What? what? Wit. Wit. Okay. St. Bernardus Wit is a traditional Belgian white beer developed and brewed in collaboration with the legendary master brewer Pierre Celi. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. Celis? Celi? Yeah. C E L I S. I don't know. You guys. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. I broke character. <laughs> this ale is very pale, whitish yellow color, and quite hazy. The head is white and dense. That's what she said. In aroma, it has a weedy apple like tartness, herbal spicy notes with coriander and orangey fruitness, and honeyish sweetness. Very refreshing. Perfect thirst quencher. Who? I am. Perfect. Excited. I'm salivating. I actually am salivating. I'm excited because I knew they've made a wit, but I saw a four pack of this in cans for like ten bucks when I like I've had to pick it up. Never had anything from this company that wasn't world class. Yeah, and I didn't even know they made this in cans. And I was like, I didn't know they did anything in cans until this. I've seen this in bottles before, though. Okay, there's some funk on the nose. There's a little bit of eggy funk. I, I, a little bit of eggy. I gave it a blow and it went away. And now but it's not funk on anywhere near the level of that last. And one. now it's bready and. Yep, that's gone. Yeah, very bready. And cinnamon. I get the honey they were talking about in the nose. Oh yeah, a little bit citrusy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't really get the. Cinnamon. I can smell the coriander too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's any good. Classic wit smell, just kind of more refined. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Ooh. Oh, that's got some interesting qualities. That's nice. Like, it gets a little bit of tartness on the tip of the tongue. I get the apples that they're talking about in the ad copy. Especially on the front end. It still has a little bit of that banana you expect, too. Yeah. Not as much as some others. That's interesting. Yeah, this is... This is a pretty traditional, typical wit. A couple of slight variations... It's very light bodied, but I would say it's a little bit a little bit heavier than the extra four. Yeah. It's not quite as good as I was expecting. It's not What's as that? carbonated as I was expecting us no. from What's that wit we had a long that. time ago? It was like Oberon or something. Oberon. Like that. Ooh, that's that's mm-hmm. a beer. That's the one to beat right there. And you know who did that of all people? <clears throat> Bells did that. Balls? Balls. Balls. Yeah. Balls. That's like one of... Is like, that beer still around? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Oberon's, not a seasonal, is it? Oberon. Well... I don't think so. It's, well, it's, it would be in season anyway. Yeah. It was. So. Sometimes it's hard to find in the late fall, early winter, but it's more of like a spring, summer, fall seasonal. This is a good beer, but it is not... World it, class. It's not world class. Mm-hmm. This is like a good wit. Yeah. A, yeah. But I would put it, you know... In the middle of the pack of the good ones, mm. of the doesn't suck ones. Yeah, yeah. This oh, is, it doesn't suck. This doesn't suck, but got a little bit of licorice going. I think I've had better wits though than this. I was, oh yeah, I have. I was expecting a paradigm shifting excellence. Mm-hmm. No, I mean this isn't bad. No, by no means. Is and it bad. you know what? I can't be disappointed that I didn't get that because that's a ridiculous standard to hold any yeah. anything to. Yeah, but this hundred percent of the time. It's yeah. funny because this is a. This is a good beer. I'd say it's a very good beer, mm-hmm. but it is by far the worst St. Bernardus beer I've had. It oh, is. yeah. Uh, if, if I would go to the extra four if I was looking for something. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah I would four. skip this. Go skip this. Go extra. Oh, yeah. extra four. That you is. want thirst quenching in the summer? That's your beer. Yep. And that's that a stupid good. What do they call that? A pale lager or something? A pale. Yeah, it was an ale. Pale ale. Okay. But it was, yeah, it was a Belgian pale ale, I think. Yeah. Way better than IPA. Way better than an American or an English pale ale. Yeah. Wait, just ugh. I need to find more of that beer. Yeah, if you if you're cho- if you're trying to decide between this beer and extra four, extra four by a fucking mile. Yes. Oh yeah. But if you want to try this beer, it's not disgusting. It's yeah, not even bad. Means. It's not even mediocre. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. good. But by just, all means, go for it. But like, but extra oh, four is way better. Yeah. Oh yeah. But if you've got this suddenly like materializing in your fridge, oh yeah, you'll drink the shit out of it. No it's, question. It's <laughs> it's good. But it's not that good. Yeah. I think I like Oberon better than this. I think. And granted, it's Oberon been a may be the best wheat beer I've ever had. 
No. It's hard to say. That one, that new Glarus bubbler. Oh, oh wait, I think I do remember that. That's my number one wit. That was also that's like not a wit. That's, one, that's a heifer. Yeah. Is, is yeah, it a heifer? Yeah, okay. True. Well, as far as wheat beers go, that's my number one. Well, no, I can't even say that now after the that... smoked Schlenkerla. So, but as far as wits, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that, maybe Oberon. Maybe. I gotta get some more of that to, to compare. But yeah, St. Bernardus wit doesn't suck, but I guess we're still a little bit disappointed. I just, you know, when you... It's amazing to have something this good... And then come out of it feeling deflated, you know? Yeah. That's kind of stupid. We're kind of dumb. No. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of dumb. No, we're not dumb. <laughs> we're not dumb. Um, I, it's kind of weird that I'm, I'm going, wow, I just had a really good beer. And I'm going, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> just because I expected it to be, like, mind-blowing. Well, yeah, because, I mean, you know, with the name like that, it's mm-hmm. like, like you have big, big expectations going in. And I'm wondering, uh, I'm sort of curious how that is in a bottle versus a can. I was can. just thinking that. I'm, I'm curious. curious. You guys, there's absolutely no difference. Well, we don't know. It would have been actually kind of cool to have them and compare them, but whatever. Maybe S- next time. Still a cool beer. But yeah, doesn't suck. Doesn't suck. That's going to do it for this episode. Please tune in next time and remember that life is too short to be caught drinking shitty wits. <laughs> Been drinking shitty beer for days. <laughs> <laughs>